What's up developers and welcome back to a new video where we're going to start off with a new course on this channel which is React. Quick pause, do you want to support the channel and want me to continue on creating content? You can support the channel on Patreon where you get benefits such as a private Discord group where you can share your coding issues with other developers that will help you out. If you are interested, the link will be in the description down below. Have you reached the point in your development career where you want to build user interfaces for large skilled applications where your data will change over time? Are you also tired of fixing small bugs in your frontend application or in the DOM? Wait, I think that I can help you. Because that's where this course is all about. Even though React is a super popular JavaScript user interface library that helps you to create user interfaces, it hasn't even been out for that long. React has been released in 2013 by Facebook to help you ease up the development of web applications. A pretty cool thing about React is the fact that you can bundle up parts of a website into smaller components. This will give you basically small blocks for your application, which is called component-based coding. It allows you to reduce repetition in your code, which eventually will lead into improvement in your website speed. A question I've seen a lot in my inbox is will React replace JavaScript? And the answer is straightforward. It will not mainly because React does not have its own templating system, but it uses the full power of JavaScript to build your user interface. There are actually some differences though, since React's UI is a function of application state. You don't need to store the data of your application in the DOM, but the flow is reversed. State can live in a store, and all components have to do is re-render every time a state updates. Now you're probably curious what we will be learning during this course. We will be starting off on a basic level where we will start to understand the fundamentals of React by creating a project. We will dive into topics such as Bobble, props, refs, components, server-side rendering, how to handle user interaction, forms, and so on. We're also going to work with a state management paradigm called Redux. Redux provides a structure for large state trees, which will then allow you to decouple user interaction in your application from state changes. Now, is React hard to learn? When I started off programming years ago, I asked myself, is Laravel or any other topic hard to learn? To be honest, there is no good answer on how difficult it is to learn React. Apart from the fact that everyone learns at its own pace, it is very important to have a good understanding of coding before you dive into learning React. Even though React is a fairly new programming language, you probably Googled around what the future of React will be. As a PHP developer, I've been hearing for years that PHP is dead, but it isn't. Will React ever be dead? Well, it has reached a place where the core functionality of React is pretty stable, but even that can change over time. This was it for this short video where we talked about React and why you should be using it. In the next video, we will be setting up our environment. If you do like my content and you want to see more, leave this video a thumbs up, and if you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button.